viele Sängerinnen oder Sänger haben schon etwas zu sagen, geschweige denn etwas Eigenes, auf eine wirklich eigene Art und Weise. Sie teilt sich auf eine völlig einzigartige Weise mit. Björk kopiert niemanden. Diese Persönlichkeit ist absolut einzigartig. Diese Wärme, diese ganze Lebenseinstellung. Dazu dieses Kinderherz und ihr isländisches Lebensgefühl. With, with those that face and this this body you know and 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 with with these influence i think that's enough i don't have to it's so much subconsciously there i don't have to f focus on it consciously as well but um but um yeah it, there is a big big chunk there i knew by the ocean Since I was a kid, it has always been like my natural reaction. Two things. My stepfather, who I started with my mother when I was four, and he played me a lot of lot of music and had a lot of time for me. And he used to sit with me after every evening sometimes. And we would write down a lot of lyrics, we'd go through things, we'd pick up the chords. And he used to be in a top 40 band in Iceland. <laughs> Kaspar, Melchior and Balthasar. They sent me to classical music school when I was five. And I was there for ten years. It was very conservative, but I was a bit of a rebel. I would do my own little projects in the corner. I would get a lot of freedom. I would talk to a lot of... That's how I got introduced to, like, Tessai Stockhouse and electronic music. You know, I basically got introduced to all music there is. I mean, in European, at least. <laughs> Let's say four, five hundred years, and and uh, and uh, even though I ended up deciding that majority of it was not maybe my cup of tea, at least I knew it existed, so I could like say, okay, I've dealt with this, you know. So I think very quickly I said, okay, you got classical music, you got pop, you got jazz, and everybody thinks their stuff is great and the rest is crap. I just really quickly loved introducing. My grandparents to Jimi Hendrix stuff, or my my mum to classical stuff, or or, um, or or bringing jazz records to school, you know. And then it just kind of came out that when I started being in bands, because I was so um, kind of obsessed with with new things getting made, that that I kind of ended up just being on the microphone, you know. But it was very natural process. 
I've been singing professionally more or less since I was about 11, 12. Code with the name and the frau, one half the mego pada co her meriao, so clider on making out with Lee. Quill bless it, papa, ye glimpsed it to me. It's a small town, and people knew I, I did gigs, I played flute, I sang, and then this guy wanted to make a children's record. It sold 5,000 copies, which, which um, is gold in Iceland. But, but then they wanted to do... Then it came out in the record company, and the record company was like... Uh, we, they wanted to do another one, but I didn't want to. I, so I um, said, OK, that's it. Because I felt very awkward. I was doing interviews and all sort of stuff, and people recognised me in the street and my school. I got much more attention than I wanted before I asked for it, where I think a lot of people don't get the attention till long after they want it. So, so, so I immediately sorted out in my head that that's not what I want. I want to make music.